Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is February 21st, and this is your aftermarket update. So this was our day back after the holiday. Um, the market in the overnight session had a fairly significant run up uh, into uh, right up really right until after the open, right up here around the $55 uh, dollar handle. Uh, in fact, we made it up to 5503 before we began the sell off to the downside. Uh, the impetus for this rally today was uh, news that OPEC uh, may be looking to uh, add to their already existing production cut uh, quotas. So that may influence what happens here over the course of the next uh, several coming days and weeks. Um, but today that caused this fairly significant run up into the overnight session. And so what we were looking at in the trade room today is we did have one of our market maker level decision points here at uh, 5480. And uh, we figured that because we didn't, or my idea was because we did not make it up to the daily structure target up here at 5519, uh, that there was going to be a good chance that we come down uh, into this daily structure mid and then ultimately into uh, these uh, revision points that I'll show you here in just a few moments. So I took an initial trade this morning uh, that stopped me out for uh, 11 ticks. Uh, so on this big rally up and this pullback here a little bit, I got tagged out one more time before we came back up into here. But once uh, we got back up here, uh, my stop was at 93. It was 11 ticks. We hit 97 where we double topped. Uh, we began to see the volume and the pressure of the volume coming in. And I looked to get short again. And this time I was short uh, just ahead of this daily structure signal at uh, 84. Now, this trade lasted a long time as the market continued to rotate back and forth. In fact, um, I believe the uh, the trade ends up going uh, into well over an hour uh, today. We did pull back up here into this daily structure signal at 80. Uh, we did end up having a revision signal show up here at 84 that sort of confirmed uh, that our short was uh, in play. And we were holding on for a target down here around 25. Uh, one of the measurements, um, in fact, it's one of the setups uh, of the levels that we give to you uh, in your $40, $47 extended trial was down here around 25. Uh, we talked about going a couple of ticks ahead of that at uh, 27 as the target, uh, simply because the way that that level responds, sometimes it only goes a tick or two. Uh, it gets a tick or two away, and I wanted to make sure that if we got in up here at 84, uh, that we could carry it all the way down uh, into that level. Now, that's kind of the way uh, we were planning for things to occur. Uh, we ran into a little bit of an issue. I got filled on one lot instead of two uh, at 84 today. You'll see that in the video. And so what I was doing is we were looking for a potential move down from 84 to 41. That's where we talked about uh, the market could pause. I said once we get through uh, this area here where the revision target is at 53, we talked about that level being important. Uh, once we got through that revision target that I was going to add one lot to get myself to two lots uh, once we come down to 46. So what I've done is I've taken this trade and I've chopped it up like we do and put it into some really bite-sized chunks, sped it up. And then when we, we get to the point where it looks like I'm going to add, I slow it back down again. You hear the commentary and then we end up uh, speeding it back up uh, right to the end. So I only got in on one lot. We went from 84 uh, down to, well, let me show you here. We went from 84 all the way down to this spike here at 33, and then it pulls, before it pulls back, it takes me out at 45. Uh, ultimately, the market comes all the way down, goes all the way back up, by the way, to this daily structure signal, and then when it ends the day, uh, by the time it gets down towards the, the session close, we come all the way down to that 25 level that I talked about early in the session. So, one of the things that I want to show you here that's fairly interesting is if you look at your decision points, and I'm going to turn off the market maker level revision signals here for a second, This these decision points just bounced back and forth all day long. We had the right idea uh, early in the session today when we took our initial short. You had a response, fairly aggressive response here off the structure mid, rotate, 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 and then we come down ultimately into uh, that 25. And again, that's that setup in the $47 extended trial. You'll get a copy of that, by the way. You'll have an opportunity, if you haven't done so already, to pick that up uh, in the email that I sent out tonight about this trade and about today. But the point is, we took an 11 tick stop, right? We On two lots. So that was basically uh, 22 ticks. And I took a one lot and rode it from 84 down to 33. So even with the one lot that I was only able to get filled on, um, we were able to make up for that initial loss 
of 22 ticks even on the one lot. So again, the whole philosophy that we tried to do in here and talk about in here is cut those losers short, let the winners run. If I'd have been filled at two lots, we, it would have been a massively impressive day. As it was, it wasn't as good as it could have been, but it's still, we took the loser and including that loser all the way uh, with the winning trade that we took, it ends up being a positive day today uh, and, a, and a decently positive day. So again, what you're going to see here is you're going to see me get in with one lot, then I'm going to speed the tape up, then you're going to see me add that lot at 46, which brings my average in down to 65. And then you're going to see me come all the way down to 33 before it rallies back up. It takes me out at 45. And then as the day kind of progresses, we end up getting down to the place that I thought we would get down to in the end anyway, which was 54.25. So could have been a really good day, was actually turned out to be a pretty good day. And so that's the way it happens, right? That's trading. And that's trading in a nutshell, right? Some days um, you don't deserve to win. And you do. And some days you deserve to win and you don't. And that's just kind of the way it goes. So uh, I'm going to let you watch this trade of the day. Like I said, the original trade is about, uh, was just a well over an hour, actually. So that original trade was well over an hour. Uh, but I cut it down into some bite-sized chunks so you it could make it pal palatable, watchable. Um, nobody wants to watch a full-length motion picture uh, video about a trade, but I cut it down. You'll get the gist of, of what happened here today. So that's enough of me talking. I'm going to let you watch that OTG trade of the day. I'm in here at 84 on one. And I'm hit, but no fill on the other one. Okay, I'm in on one at 84 is all I'm in here. I'm in on one. I'm going to try to put another one on here, and I may not make it. Crap sandwiches. Uh, okay, well, I got one filled. I got one filled. I'm going to add one at 46, and I'm going to look to target down to 27. Okay, I'm in at 46.
All right, so you can see that we got down pretty close. Our target, we, as you saw on that uh, video, was 27. We made it down to 33, rallied all the way back up, and eventually came down and took that target out for the day. So, again, that's the way it goes. Sometimes uh, you hit that target all the way to the end, and sometimes you hap it happens later in the day like it did here today. So, uh, like we talked about before we started watching the video, that's the way trading is. Sometimes you deserve to win and you don't, and sometimes uh, you, do des you don't deserve to win and you do, and that just sometimes is trading, right? So, anyway, as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.